What's going on YouTube and welcome back to some more MLB The Show 20. So Houston leads the series two games to one. And today we're going to try and tie up this series and hopefully stay alive. For today's matchup, we got Michael Kopech versus Jose Urquidy. So hope you guys enjoy and if you do, hit that like button. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros. Jose Urquidy is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Now with the play, Tim Anderson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. First pick, Kevin O'Fox. One and one the count now. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. The one one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Fastball just missed above the zone. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Now batting, Yohan Moncada. The third base Yohan Moncada. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Brantley is under it. Two down. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Yeah, you know I'm going to be watching Yasmani Gradal pretty closely. He's hit two home runs so far in this series already. So you know he's feeling really good about himself. You can bet they were talking about him in the pitchers meeting before the game. So their focus is on him, and so is mine. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Tucker. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely, and it bounces over for a ground rule double. The 0-1 offering. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Abreu stands at second with two gone. One and two to the White Sox catcher. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Michael Kopech will be on the mound for game four. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the best all-around arms in the game of baseball, Michael Kopech. Originally drafted by the Boston Red Sox, guy hit over a hundred miles an hour regularly in the minor leagues big arm big fastball big power slider to one of the top young pitchers in the game of baseball is Michael Kopech Jose Altuve is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning one and oh a ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter Whew, that was some gas 
triple digits on the radar gun. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Taken in by Abreu, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is hurt. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the National League Championship Series as they've got a good one brewing over there as well. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the line at first, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. Still no score. Moving off to the right. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Eloy Jimenez. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Tucker waits on it. One out. At the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Fastball well outside. It's down into left center for a base hit. Standing in now, Luis Robert. He swings and grounds it to short. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal with a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. Two balls and no strikes to count to Nomar Mazzara. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third. And no swing. It's ball three. He's set. And the payoff pitch. Lying toward the alley in left center. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the second run will score as well. Always nice to get some run production from the bottom of your order, right? That double brings in two runs, and the top of the order is coming up here. This could really be a big inning. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. He tried the surprise attack there with a bunt with a runner on base. Hey, he gets thrown out, but it works just as good as a sacrifice.
first offering on its way. Tim Anderson will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. A one pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. There is Altuve. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's... Leading up for the Astros, the shortstop, Carlos. Here comes the first pitch. Correa has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield, and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them, but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to, and it's impressive to watch. Yeah, anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. And another foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing by Bregman, and a ball hit well to deep left. Looking up is Jimenez, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo shot for Alex Bregman, his second home run of the series, and the Astros are on the board. It's now a 2-1 to -one ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Guriel behind the ball and two strikes. Ball hit on the ground for Anderson at short. Reined in. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Astro center fielder ahead with a 2-0 count. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The 2-1 and one on its way. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mokata has it. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Astros get a run back here on the solo shot. We've played two. It's the White Sox two, and the Astros one. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One out here in the Shy Sox third, and one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. Chasing after it is Tucker, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he is under the tag at the plate as the runner scores to make it 3-1. to one. 
great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. Elo Jimenez is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Springer on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. And now pitch on the way. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that is off the wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. The pitcher was upset about the call in the previous pitch, which could have been strike three. Then he serves up one for a double. Good example of why you have to have a short memory in this game. You let those things get to you, and oftentimes they lead to more mistakes. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. So a runner reported second, second here with one away. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Strike two. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So the runners at the corners now with one away. Here's Michael Brantley as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. Hit hard down the right field line, but a foul ball. Hit hard back up the middle. The second for one. Throw back to Abreu. They get them both, and the side is retired. Your basics. All set for the start of the fourth. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Called strike and he's behind one and two borderline pitch right there but as a low ball hitter you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well Bregman gloves it throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth now back. The first. settling in now mm -hmm. Luis Robert Robert he's ready here's the first offering just off the outside that time laid off for a ball Bouncer up the middle. Altuve fields it cleanly. And there are two away now. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. First pitch coming. Here it is. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Ball and a strike now. The 1-1 one, one home. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Gone! A 
solo home run for Nomar Mazzara. His second home run of the series. And the White Sox will move out in front 4-1. to one. And he was totally dialed in for the first two hitters, inducing a couple of easy grounders. Then he catches way too much of the plate on the third guy, and it winds up in the seats. Sometimes you can fall in. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. White Sox able to add on thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-1 to one Chicago. Digging in to try it again. Jorgan Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Fastball called for strike two. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Line drive to center field. Robert is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Third baseman number two. Alex. Trying to pick things up where he left yeah. off. Alex Bregman. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Line hard to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. One, two, three. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tim Anderson. First delivery to him on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the run is Tucker. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The the third base. So the base yeah. is empty here with one away. And that will bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. 0-1 the count. The pitch. Oh. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 to one ball game. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Four runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Guriel is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself. And the inning is over. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've go. hit hard okay. and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives. And even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. All right, thanks, Heidi. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And this is run down out there in right center as the runner tags from second. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the fly out. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And it's fouled away. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely now pitching it. for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Garrett Stubbs is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Ask Brian Abreu takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Top half of the sixth about to get started. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. From the stretch. Slap hard the opposite way. Tucker moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Now that Edwin Encarnacion now. Encarnacion. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Ball one. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. A ball and a strike. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. One and one now to Encarnacion. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Just hung in there on that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. Standing in, Luis Robert. He's one for two in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside. It's one and oh. 
two out, nobody on. And he misses again, 2-0. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Chopped at third. He's got to hurry. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. And Dan Heen, his fellow top-of-the-order hitters, haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your 1-2-3 guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Rip down the first base line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here it comes. I got to count one and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there in advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Giving Chase is Jimenez. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in, Jordan Alvarez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Jimenez. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. A solo shot here to left. His first homer here in the series. And the Astros are back in business. It's now a 4-2 game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Here's Carlos Correa now. Fouled away. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The windup and the 0 1. Swung on and missed. Ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Astros claw back. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in the outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And the throw to first is in time. So the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting. The second baseman. Now at the plate, Nick Madrigal. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Tucker waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So two away here is the Sox bat in the seventh. And up next it will be Tim Anderson. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that's cut on a missed 0-1. Either he missed the take sign or they're just not thinking as a team. The first two guys out on one pitch, so it could have been a three-pitch inning if he would have made an out right there. The 0-2 delivery. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. One. 
Alex Bregman will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Now, Down man. two runs. First he puts base. himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. Yeah. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Yuli Gurriel stands in as he looks at a cold strike. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Fly ball, not particularly deep. Waiting on it is Jimenez. And that's the first out of the inning. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The better fielder, number four. He's set, here it comes. George Springer comes Let on go. with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Has a look, now the pitch. No pitch, Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Into the corner and slicing foul. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Now looking for Chicago. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Here comes the first pitch. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Fry has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. So we got him looking there. Kyle Tucker becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Ready once again. Garrett Stubbs. Dan, Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, man, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the... Framber Valdez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Johan Moncada will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And now a pitch on the way. Valdez has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now at the plate, Jose Abreu. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard to catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop-up is going to be the result. 2-0 oh now. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Well, it certainly was a bang-bang play, so no surprise here that they're giving it another look, and they may decide to challenge the call on the field. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout, but here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see...
And indeed, they will elect to challenge the call. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will review the play from all available angles to come to Ladies a final decision. The White Sox are challenging. All the right, we'll take play. one last look at it here. The question is, is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe? And wow. The decision appears to have been made, and the runner is safe, so the call is overturned. Good challenge there, and they'll maintain the right to do so again later in the game if needed. Upon video review, the call of out at first base has been overturned, and the battle will safe. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ready now for the White Sox. Emo Jimenez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. One and one. And he lays off for ball one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Springer has a read on it. And that ends the inning. White Sox leave one as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Up and in for ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And that's the first down. The bat. So striding in, Michael Brantley. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Cut fastball taken for strike one. One out, nobody on. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away, batter's able to keep his hands inside, not try and do too much, and just force feet a sing. Jordan Alvarez is at the plate as he watches ball one. A 2 0 count to the Astros' DH. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. 3 and 0 now. In his career versus this pitcher, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. 3 and 1. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Chased a bad one there, one and one. Runner on first with two away. To short. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity now they've back. been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Gil? This pitcher's kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. So far, two for three in this one. Count even now at one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Three and one to him now. 
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. So striding forward now, Yuli Gurriel. As he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One ball, no strikes to count. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. This is in the air out to right. Headed after it is Mazzara. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Astros leave him loaded. Still down by a count of four to two. Miles Straw will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Chris Davinsky enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in is the veteran D.H. Edwin Encarnacion. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Tucker waits on it. Makes the play one away. In now, Luis Robert. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Everyone relax. Not a fastball right there. Obviously a little arm side run. He missed his spot. No big deal. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. Bases are empty. One man out. Swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Now to the plate, Nomar Mazzara. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First delivery to him on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman fields it cleanly. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Here's George Springer. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Alex Colome. If the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Solo shot to right center as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. That's not very nice. You come in from the bullpen and you get greeted with a bomb. He's going to have to hit the reset button pronto. Into the box now. Kyle Tucker as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D.R.O., all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bunk right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball. Game. Here now the 2-2. A 
swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll get in there easily as the time runs at second now with nobody out. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Looking for a productive at-bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. Jose Altuve comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Line towards center field. And he'll reach down to make the catch as he takes that one right off his shoe tops for the second out. Now for three. Standing in, Miles Straw. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he takes ball one. And that's right there, and we're even at one. One ball and two strikes to count. Last strike now for Houston. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Oh, he pops it up. Anderson onto the grass. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. He's safe at the play. And we are tied here in game four. Boy, d -Row, talk about definition of clutch coming up in the ninth and delivering a game-tying RBI base hit. Yeah, what a huge at-bat right there. As a former offensive player, these are the moments you live for. Runners in scoring position, bottom of the ninth inning, and you're able to come through for the team. Let's see if they can continue on. Pulled toward right center field. And this is down, and that should do it. They are now one win away from winning the series as they take this one walk-off style. Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. Houston have taken a 3-1 lead in this league championship series. Chris Davinsky is the 